is success a journey or a destination? Success is the progressive realization of a worthy goal or worthy ideal. As long as you continue that journey, you are successful. Yes. These are some of the success principles from the Bible. Solomon was really a very hardworking person. Even though he inherited the wealth and the kingdom from his father, he expanded it, he was diligent, he was hardworking, he was wise, he was fair. When he built the temple, when he built his palace, he did it very, very diligently. Unfortunately, later on in his years, Solomon was unfaithful and slipped away from God. What happened to Solomon? Think about it. We always say this, you know, Solomon had too many wives, which is true. But what was the reason he had so many wives? Is it too rich or to acquire more riches? To acquire more riches because in those days, when you give your princess in marriage, what happens? You gain an alliance. Definitely. The pitfalls of wealth and success is definitely there. That's why preachers and teachers will teach you it's better not to be rich. But if we understand the dangers, if we are made aware of the dangers and we have experiences in the Bible of people like Solomon, people like Saul, people like Judas, can we learn from them? If we don't learn from them, then we are doomed for failure. What is the meaning of covetous? A great desire to possess something belonging to someone else. And it is actually mentioned under the Ten Commandments, which is the Tenth Commandment. So this is an important word, covet. But the Hebrew word is quite positive. It's actually not a negative word. But it can be used negatively as well. What does commandment number 10 do? This is a thought. But does commandment number 10 lead to 6, 7, 8, 9? Or possibly lead to 6, 7, 8, 9? You have heard, this is Jesus talking, you have heard he said, you shall not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in the heart. Because Jesus knows the source of the sins are from the heart. That's why covetousness, the commandment number 10, is something that we need to be careful about. Solomon initially was very faithful to God. In fact, God came to speak to him two times personally. And God gave him assurances as well as God gave him warnings. But because of his greed, actually covetousness is wanting more and more and more. Is it happening in our lives today? Just think. keep your lives free from the love of money. And be content with what you have, because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So just be content. If God wants to give you a new car, work for it, He will give you. Serve Him, He will give it to you. So we say with confidence, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. You see, covetous people are afraid. Lose out. It's like, I want to show, right? So they don't have, but they want to show. So they covered. And the moment they have it, they want some more. Yeah, but here it says, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. If I have set a goal and I want to be a doctor, I want to be a lawyer, if I set a goal, I want to go up as a, as a company president of Shopee one day, it is a goal for us. But if you start to pull down the president, of course, then that's a different story. But you're right that we should cover desire to be better and better in our lives. We should desire to be better and better in our relationship with God most of all.